key thing about watermelon, especially watermelon that comes from a black farmer, is that for years and years and years, watermelon has been used as a weapon uh, against black and brown people. We were the first cultivators of watermelon in a large scale post the Civil War. And once we were liberated, um, once we liberated ourselves, we were the biggest growers of watermelon in the South and all over America. Then white farmers decided that watermelon farming was their domain. And so they would burn black farmers out of their farms. They started ad campaigns, uh, making watermelon a low fruit and something that only black people ate. And so therefore something that was not nutritious and not healthy and not good for you. And it caused a lot of black farmers to lose a lot of money, to lose their farm, Arms, and then really demonize watermelon. There are so many images in our history of black people eating watermelons, but it's looked at as a bad thing, and it was meant to be a bad thing. And then the minute the price of watermelon fell drastically, and all black farmers were kind of burned out of that, that farming, white farmers took it over, and then it became the symbol of America and the symbol of Fourth of July. Not even the true liberation date for our people, uh, because that would be Juneteenth. And so it's so crucial that watermelon be back in the hands of black farmers and that we use it again as a symbol of our liberation because it was a symbol of our liberation post uh, the Civil War. And so we need to take it back and reclaim it and use the watermelon again as a symbol of our pride as opposed to the ignorance of our past.